Let's forget that in Japan, the toddler was just a robot, with no superpowers, and a bike, and a Japanese car. Let's forget that Big Bad Beater Borgs is a later season with later footage. Oh wait, it didn't use that footage, and uses bad US footage anyway. Let's get to it. Let's talk about the powers. So to compare who would defeat who. I will say it's cool that JB can chop stuff in half, but everything just explodes, so it doesn't really matter. So basic weapons tie. So basic weapons tie. However, Drew does have the Mega Blue Battleizer, or whatever you want to call it, which makes up a disappointment for me for how the US did not come up with the idea of a Battleizer, but that's a completely different story altogether. Another minor note is how Caitlyn never defeated a monster in the show, except for maybe one of those sub- crappy Saban creations in Season 2. A big downfall for them never having Red Python become a VR Trooper. I'd reward some points to Beetleborgs for both Mega Blue and never destroying monster points. However, Caitlyn is able to take on both men in the dojo. I think they hold back on her, and I think they don't hold back on her as she is treated as their equal and never really a damsel unless JP is treated one as well. Season 2, Caitlyn 2 is different, but let's not talk about that. That's not related to this topic. Also, she has never seen taking on Doom Master and the Vixens in Season 2, and I don't think she has upgraded powers for it to become a difference in power for that season. So it seems like a canon coincidence that she just never defeated monsters in Season 1. Also, she did defeat General Ivar several times with the drill tank, not to mention all the flight fighters, aerial weapons from the Grimlord, etc. vehicles. As said, Ryan would have shitty vehicles, if not for the fact that he shares JB and Caitlyn's from Spellbound footage. They have a huge spaceship with a huge drill tank. The ship can later morph basically into a Zord. However, in the season or not, the potential for this weapon is really great. However, it's not really utilized to the fullest as it really came up in the Japanese footage as something superior. The drill tank would be able to take on the Beetleborgs vehicles, even though there are three of them. I guess the Beetleborgs vehicles would win. However, would they be able to take on the air attack of the Spellbond spaceship? That is something I don't think so because it can turn to the Zord, but I could be wrong. I would give the point to Fear Troopers, though. The Beetleborgs in suit actually can take on a lot of stuff, even a giant Vexor. That's very interesting. Season 1 Troopers just never fought a giant bad guy because they never had that footage in that in, spell, in Spellbond in the first season, and Matilda just didn't have giants to fight, much to the dismay of fans. It's a little bit less clear than the Caitlyn adaptation issue whether JB would be able to take them on with the spaceship upgrade. So that would be a point for Beetleborgs. For Giants. The Beetleborgs have the team up to take on Shadowborg, whereas JB can take on Spellbound bosses by himself, and Ryan can take on Decimator and a whole bunch of VR Troopers bosses. Ryan even takes on Grimlord one up, so not to mention a ton of boss monsters. Ryan and JB can take on the entire Grimlord army as seen in the Transmutant episode as well. JB doesn't even morph, albeit he's mutated. Laugh out loud. The Beetleborgs only took on 10 monsters and Borg Slayer in their finale for the season 1. I'd overall give it to the VR Troopers for their ability to crowd control and use critical thinking skills, even though the Beetleborgs aren't nothing to sneeze at either, despite it being a non-martial arts kid show.